Hey guys, it's Laura here from Little Lights by Laura, and I wanted to show you another trick or tip along the way in Silhouette Studio, and this is how to make shapes. So you see over here your shape feature. If you click on these, um, that is how I created all of these shapes. So to do the rectangle, you can just simply drag your mouse, if you and you can adjust the size if you want to make it a square you're going to hold your shift key down and that makes it a square so symmetrical same thing here if I'm gonna grab this one this comes with the rounded edges which you see here and here to make a rectangle I just pull and you can adjust the depth if you will of the rectangle or rounded corners rather to make this shape, I simply hold the shift key to make that. Same thing, you can adjust these if you want. Go over here, choose my circle. To make the oval, I simply just drag it, make it however I want it to be. You can make it a circle by this, but to make it more perfect, if you will, you're gonna hold down your shift key. I'm clicking it now on my keyboard and drag your mouse with the shift key held the whole time. Sometimes you'll catch yourself and you have to remember to hit the shift key and keep it held, otherwise you will get that lovely shape. And then on this one, um, this you don't need the shift key, but simply by spinning my mouse and my hand is how I'm altering that. Um, and so that's quite simple, or you can come up to the mouse and once you have this, you always have this green dot to twist your shape as well. So super simple. Um, now, what for, for me, what I use most frequently is, and you guys have seen this in my other videos, I will hold my shift key and I will make, whoops, see how that went crazy? I use this all the time to make polka dots. And I will make them all different sizes um ah i'm letting go of my shift key too soon which is why that's happening so i use this all the time to make polka dots once i've made a couple i'll just right click and duplicate and get plenty of them um i'll kind of give you guys a two for one in this video um i'm going to show you how to um add polka dots with um removing them so let's say you wanted to do like just like a fun first initial I'm just gonna do something very simple to show you guys and I just posted a video about my most commonly used tool the offset tool I want this to be nice and thick so I'm gonna go with that I'm just gonna color it in so you guys can see what I'm doing now if I were doing this with vinyl maybe I would um, and I want to make some polka dots cut out from this letter. You see how when I drag the polka dot back there, you can't see it. It's not very helpful. I'm going to right click and I'm going to send my L to the back. And then I'm going to place my polka dots on top. And I'm just going to stagger them sporadically. Because polka dots are all over the place and different. And I know that I need more smaller ones so I can just right click and duplicate just making it faster easier more efficient for myself okay now I'm going to I'm going to zoom in and show you guys this so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select my L with my polka dots and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to move everything over here and you'll see why in a second then I'm going to go back. I'm going to select everything again. I'm going to go up to Object, Modify, Subtract. Now it has taken out my polka dots from my L. So if I wanted to put this on a t-shirt, for say, um, then I would get to see the color of the t-shirt behind the letter L. Now if you zoom in really close here, you'll see this line is super small. If I wanted, I could go and undo this and I could move this so that it came all the way outside of the L or I can move it inside of the L. Um, personally, I would not want that thin of a line in any type of vinyl, whether it's heat transfer or 
um, Oracle 651 or 631. Personally, that's just too close for my liking. So you can kind of change it one way or the other. Now, the reason why I duplicated this over here is because sometimes if you don't um, have them layered correctly and you go into modify and using the subtract feature, um, sometimes you will lose your L and you'll just be left with the holes. So just to be safe and not create frustration, it's always wise to duplicate what you're working on first, just as a precaution, just to alleviate some potential anger. So there you go. That's how I use shapes using my Silhouette Studio and fun polka dots, which is what I most commonly use the circle feature for. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.